What's going on everybody? My name is Max. Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all are having a great day. Today I got another spear fishing video for you guys. This wasn't just one day. This was over the course of this past week. So I've just compiled a couple clips. So I'm just going to let it play out and give my narration. Alright, let's see what's out there for us today. Hopefully bring back some lunch or dinner. <laughs> So we started off at a shallow reef and uh, I was already seeing some life as soon as I jumped in. Had some nice mangrove snappers come around and uh, this one right here was just going away and he just turned around and ran right into my shot. So I was pretty stoked about that first fish in the boat. So I saw that the shot was a little low so first thing I need to do is just put my hand in his gills because I don't want the fish to get away. I've had times where I just shoot a fish and I just try to pull him up to me and he just comes off in the process so if the fish was close to me why not get my hands on it and this right here was a really nice mangrove snapper for the shallow water so I took a going away shot and saw that I hit him a little high so just let him swim with the gun didn't want to pull him and tear him straight out right here I start getting him trying to get a grip on him and I'm not pulling the fish too hard because I don't want him to tear out. I just pin him against my foot right here and put my hand in his gills. And that's it right there. I got the fish in my hands. Pretty good one. So this following clip is from a couple of days after. This is me lining up on a Spanish mackerel. Water was a little murky in this area, but there was a nice school of mackerel hanging around. So just decided to take a couple of shots at these. Right here I saw the fish and I was gonna pull him towards me but I saw that the shot that I had on him was pretty bad, bad so I told my buddy to take a backup shot on him and he hit him pretty good right in the head. And right here you're gonna see with the shot that I had he was about to tear out so I'm pretty happy I didn't just decide to grab that fish and pull it towards me. I'm pretty sure it just would have torn out. And this is another one. This is a little bigger one took my time lined up on it and uh, I was able to get a really nice holding shot so it was comfortable just pulling this fish towards me I was pretty stoked to get this one to a nice little mackerel and after that uh, I lined up on this big barracuda right here and took a shot and I hit him you can see he's pulling right here and unfortunately my shot just tears out and uh, that was just a heartbreaker for me and these clips right here from another day, my buddy took me out and uh, took me to explore some little caves that he found marked on the GPS. So I was just doing a little diving, checking all of them out, seeing how they look, seeing if there's any fish around. But uh, this one actually wasn't a cave, this was more just like a really big ledge. Like a big stone ledge. And this, this is me just swimming towards the end of it right here. This other spot was pretty cool, this was like a big hole in the ground and uh, I was just looking trying to see if there's any entrances where fish could go in but I realized that, that this hole was in a cave so I was just trying to look around see if there's another entrance and sure enough I see another hole right here so I decided to get my flashlight and check it out. And this one right here actually was a little cave but unfortunately I wasn't able to get all the way in because it's too narrow but I'm just checking it out right here and as I'm going down I notice that the water is getting really really cold that's telling me like that there's some sort of fresh water coming out of this hole not seeing any fish on these dives but decide I'll check again and it was just really nice to see that you know in the middle of nowhere you know this hole in the ground and then this next one that I'm about to show you, I didn't actually jump in the water because it looked kind of scary, but I did dip my GoPro in from the surface and uh, you can see on the side it's really shallow. Then on the right, they're just like a rocky ledge and it just drops off pretty deep. So I don't think I was into diving that, but maybe one day I'll check it out. But for now, I think I'll stick to diving the shallows and feeding my stingray. So if you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.